Hey, everybody, would you like to know where you are at in the spectrum of survival mode to thriving and being one of the top 10% performers in the whole entire world? My trainer, Dr. Kim Redman, who's a mentor of Brandon Bruchard, was talking today about some of the ways to tell about whether you're in survival, whether you're in adjustment, or whether you are in the top 10% of the performers. But first, let's run the show reel. <laughs> the pandemic was hard for a lot of us, wasn't it? And many of us went back into a state of actual survival, where we started paying attention to, how do I make sure that me and my family make it through this okay? When we're in this state, we're in a very protective state for ourselves and for our family members and the people that we love, which can be great. My question is, have you moved out of that state yet? When we are in this state, we are very ego driven. We are very I focused. There can be huge fights. There can be uncertainty in our relationships, in our work, in our financial situation, and even in our own self-esteem. However, if we can move out of this into the second position, we start opening ourselves up. Now, in the second position, we are still in a position of I-centeredness. However, we are coping. We are adjusting. Often, we're focusing on our wellness on releasing stress. Now, if you're in a level two state or kind of in the second bubble, you are where the majority of the world is right now. And how can you recognize people in the first state? They seem to be complaining all the time. It creates a lot of connection with other people when we sit down and complain about politics or religion or our husbands or our wives or the economy or whatever it is we're complaining about. However, we can get into that state and we can become very toxic. We can get drugged down. We stop focusing our own, on our own health, on adjusting, on moving forward. In this state, we're kind of tinkering around with things. We're kind of doing it, but we're not doing it well. We're not doing 100%. We're doing enough to get by. Is that what you want to do? Do you wanna just get by, have an okay relationship, an okay job, an okay? I know you want more for yourself, don't you? Yes, but how do we move to stage three? That's the question everyone wants to know. This is the high performance zone. This is 10 to 15% of the whole entire world is here. So how do you become some of the 10 to 15%? First thing, you become productive, very productive. You get your drive back. You make a schedule, you stick to it. You push yourself to do things every single day to become better, to do more. Now, not in a way that you're burning out or you're doing just to do, but you're doing to learn. You're doing to grow. You're doing to expand. You are bringing community in. You recognize when you need help and you ask for it. Some of the most successful people in the world are the ones that know how to ask for help, support, or model after other successful people who've already done what they do. Now you get to make a choice. And how do you do this? A choice only takes one minute, doesn't it? You can choose right now whether to be a complainer, whether to just be average and get by, or whether to change now to move your life forward because you can, can't you? Write down in the comments, I can do it now and manifest that for yourself. I look forward to hearing your life's successes. Until then, you are love, you are loving, and you are lovable.
Namaste.